the emergency medicine channel today we are going to learn and discuss about a new drug adenosine so adenosine as we know adenosine is an antiarrhythmic drug so it's a class 5 antiarrhythmic drug so the main action is that it decreases the av nodal conduction so the decrease in av nodal conduction is by the stoppage of calcium or decrease in the calcium influx to the cells and uh, increase in the potassium efflux so thereby the av nodal conduction get delayed this will cause a transient heart block at the av node so this will help in the uh, arith uh, arrhythmic conditions so it is called as antiarrhythmic drugs so it has an also an action in the uh, smooth muscles of the uh, smooth muscle also so it will cause vasodilatation yeah can cause a vasodilatory action also vasodilatations can occur so next coming to the uses of the adenosine so the mostly we use adenosine for svts paroxysomal supraventricular tachycardia here uh, can be used in stable and unstable patients in uh, stable patients we we try this uh, in cases where we fail with the vagal maneuvers in unstable patients also we can use it directly then we can give it either by iv or central line in iv we initially try with 6 mg dose if it is not uh, like if we will give 6 mg to the peripheral line in 1 to 2 seconds followed by uh, the will uh, give an ns flush and um, at that time itself we will uh, raise the uh, peripheries or hand to uh, get a maximum uh, fluid push towards the heart because of it, its uh, action like its metabolism wherein the adenosine is metabolized by the endothelial cells uh, so uh, metabolism of the adenosine will be very fast uh, it, so it will uh, get and metabolized before reaching the heart so we'll get a, a ns push and also uh, we'll elevate the whole hand to to increase the rate at which the drug reaches the heart so if it is not uh, the antiarrhythmia uh, arrhythmia svt is not revived by 6 mg we will go with 12 mg and if 12 mg is not getting revived we can again go with 12 mg in some books it's written as we can go with 18 mg but uh, many of the books uh, tell up to 12 mg doses in central line we can start with a 3 mg dose which can be uh, again in increased to 6 mg then 9 mg in heart transplant patients we will uh, reduce the dose and start with 1 mg dose then tight and uh, increase up to 2 then to 3 m in children we will uh, the dose is a little different 0.1 mg per kg dose is initially given and can be uh, increased up to 0.2 mg maximum dose uh, uh, we can give is up to 12 mg per usage uh, per dose then we can also use uh, the adenosine drug for pharmacology cardiac stress testing here we will uh, use a uh, different dosage 140 microgram per kg over 6 minutes uh, we'll, we can also use the adenosine for fractional flow reserve testing here it's a diagnostic aid off level use here continuous infusion via peripheral line at 140 mil, uh, microgram per kg per minute and also in uh, intra coronary we can give in right coronary by, by uh, like 40 microgram in left coronary 80 microgram so uh, this is here we give a rapid administration of the drug then uh, in some cases uh, in some books it's written as like we can also try with tachyarrhythmic conditions in stable patients we can try with the adenosine so pharmacokinetics here the as, as already discussed the action of the adenosine is very rapid rapid action is there onset of action will be very rapid and the duration will be very short short uh, like half life will be less than 10 seconds and uh, meta, as discussed earlier metabolized in the uh, vascular endothelial cells and erythrocytes so rapid metabolism will also occur while giving itself and coming to the adverse reaction, uh, CVS will can the antiarrhythmic drug itself can cause anti arrhythmias, then AV blocks, chest pain, palpitation can be there. And in patient can have C in CNS like headache, dizziness, paresthesia, numbness, and in uh, facial flushing, diaphoresis, abdominal discomfort, 
dyspnea and hyperventilation can also occur in coming to the contraindication here uh, this uh, we don't use the drug for uh, second degree and third degree heart block six sinus syndrome then in cases of uh, obstructive lung disease condition as it can cause bronchoconstriction then uh, this drug can cause increase in the seizure potential so avoided in seizure patients and also in patients with uh, signs and symptoms of mi so that's all about the drug adenosine so adenosine is a class 5 anti miscellaneous drug it's used for SVT is mainly here uh, we'll uh, give with 6 mg start with 6 mg and uh, titrate right up to 12 mg and uh, which is the main thing we had to notice that we should be given in uh, very fastly via three way three way cock to uh, rapidly push the uh, adenosine followed by NS flush and elevation of the upper limb to make the drug fully reached up to heart in very fast and uh, this will help to re reduce uh, revert the svt and we well, we do this uh, with the help help of multiple staff and also cardiac monitor should be at that place at that point of time so that's it about the drug adenosine thank you